Hello, my name is Ken Bruce, and today I'm doing a school project. So we're doing vlogging, and today I had an idea, and it's about um, the software that came with my phone, and how far it's come. So I got the UbiPorts edition of the Pine Phone, and so today I am going to see, we're going to see how far it's come. The under the hood features that I know of are like performance, so like so uh, performance and the this does not have a crust enabled U boot, which basically means that this doesn't have advanced um, power management, so it doesn't last that long on a battery life. So it may last about an hour. It doesn't really last that long, and so. So one of the differences is you've got this um, different settings menu. You'll see next time, but as you will just have a look in the about page, yes, this is the factory image right here. So this is pretty sick. Um, thank you to Point64 for being able to supply these now. It's very cool that they supply the, um, uh, the factory images now. So... I think that's pretty cool. Thank you for that. Um, so, another few things are Libertine. Libertine containers do not work in this version. And that's pretty cool. Oh, it's not very cool, is it? The camera does not work in this version. So, it is non-existent. Well, it exists, but it isn't working. Which is a bit, it's a factory image, but they didn't have much time to up the software. And I do not think the maintainer actually works on it anymore. I'm not entirely sure. But also, um, the browser, so the browser, Morph browser. So the Morph browser version that came with this had a few problems with um, changing the YouTube playback quality. So that has been fixed in the later versions, but um, it had a few problems in th this version, so that's a problem. There are other like changes, so this is uh, this is a bit laggy. I bet I think there is a lot of um, performance changes in the latest versions, and yeah. I think that's about it. There isn't actually much. To, um, there are a lot more under the hood things rather than UI changes. So we're, we're going to move on to the latest version now. Here we have the latest version of Ubuntu Touch for the Pine Fun. We'll start with this area here, Failed to Add Storage Device. I don't know what this is about, but... It has been coming up in the latest versions, the latest builds, and I think this is something to do with the petitions. Um, so we'll get to the settings actually. So the applications have a new um loading screen, and here is the new settings grid. So I think that's pretty cool. This was built two days ago in the CI. I think it's um uh, pretty good. By far this this I really like this change. Libertine containers now work, which is great. I I really like it. And the camera app works now. It took a little while. It's been it's it's been working for quite a while actually. So yeah, here we go. Now, it isn't using the megapixels technology. It is using, I think it's based on pinhole, the technology, I think. Not sure, but it is an accelerated. It is a, this is a lot smoother. I think, yeah, this looks a lot smoother. This has a, um, a crust-enabled U-boot, which is, again, advanced power management. Very cool. Um, now, um, what other changes are there? 
There isn't really many other than um, some big ones under the hood, so for like performance and stuff like that, which is very good. I I love it. It's lasting a lot longer, but the maintainer, as I said before, has isn't doing anything for this anymore at the moment, and... I haven't seen much changes from a few months ago when I tested it. I'm hoping someone does is able to pick this up and I because I really love Ubuntu Touch. It'd be cool. And there isn't actually much to do with UI or things that I can physically show you. But a lot of apps have had um, changes, so Morph Browser has had changes to fix things for uh, the YouTube playback quality buttons, so they're fixed. Well, I wonder if we can put in YouTube. I'm a bit far away from my router. Probably not the best idea, is it? No. But all in all, I think it's come far, but it's it's not competing with some of the other things you can get at the moment. I think I think this is good, and if someone picked this up, it would be very cool. And I, I do have high hopes in the future that this will be a pretty good experience. Another one last thing is about the applications. Most of them, the majority, are web apps, which is a downside to me. I like using full Linux apps, so like if I'm using Mobian, that is pretty good. I f love using Mobian, but yeah, no, most of them are web apps. And one last thing, one one last thing is it's stuck on Ubuntu 16.04. They have said they are moving to 20.04 soon ish, hopefully. I really am hoping, but only time will tell. Thank you for watching. I know this was a short video, but yeah, this is for school and stuff, but I enjoyed making this. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one. I might be bringing out more videos later. Thank you.